Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick. I go by PKW Picks. I am a part-time eBay reseller. I also sell on Poshmark and Macari. Um, I sold four things today for gross sales of $81.95. Um, I've already pulled the hat. This is a hat I bought at Goodwill for $1. Um, I sold for $11, um, free shipping. Um, it weighs maybe three ounces, so it's only gonna cost me maybe, you know, less than $40 to ship. Um, the next item I sold, I sold a pair of bowling shoes I bought for $2 at a thrift store. All their shoes are, uh, they sell for $2. Um, I can find them. They're gonna be on my shoe bin. But uh, I sold those for two dollars. I mean, I sold those for nineteen ninety five plus shipping. Um, the seller or the buyer uh, paid for shipping on those, so they were twenty eight dollars all in. Uh, let's see. I have some of my stuff locked up. Um, they were right here. Okay. Yeah, this was a good find for me, a good sale for me. Uh, this is bowling season. They were purple and white, really great condition. Um, the bottoms, of course, show a little bit of a little bit of use, but overall, they're in great shape. You guys sell those for $19.95 plus $8.25 shipping. So, all in all, the buyer was $28.20 on the whole purchase. So, the next thing I sold, I sold a Sonic the Hedgehog Sega Genesis game. Um, this game does not have a booklet. If it did have a booklet, it would have been worth more. But uh, since it only has the game, I sold it for $9 um, with free shipping. So it's not gonna cost me that much to ship. Uh, I may even go uh, media mail, which is like 250 or 280. So uh, still not bad for a, something I bought for 50 cents. So uh, pretty good sale there. The fourth item I sold, um, it's a hitting softball baseball net it's still new in the package i bought it for myself but didn't end up using it and i bought it pretty cheap i actually doubled my money on this purchase so if it is an international sale it's going overseas i'm not sure exactly where it's going but the way international shipping goes is they have a, a there's a, a place in kentucky and whenever something is sold overseas everything gets shipped to kentucky and they ship it wherever it's got to go to another country or wherever. So that's only going to cost me whatever it's going to cost me to ship from Alabama to Kentucky. So shipping is not going to be bad. Um, it is kind of heavy. I'll have to account for that. It may even go FedEx, but I don't know for sure. Well, I doubt I'll go FedEx. I'll probably go ahead and go to the United States Postal Service since it is going to Kentucky, but it may cost me between 12 and $15 to ship, but still it's not going to be a bad deal. So. Happy about that purchase. And I'm gonna go over some things too I sold uh, this past week and over the weekend too, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Um, I'm in my office office. Um, I have my eBay room, my eBay office area where I print my labels, where I store my, my merchandise and where I do my shipping. And this is my office. This is where I do the business side of everything. Um, this is where I look for product. This is where I check my numbers. This is where I compare um, numbers and numbers from different quarters. This is just the, my business, the business side. This is where I do that in this office. Um, I'm not in my eBay room right now, um, but I do want to go over some, some more sales I had today. Um, earlier, I went over four, I believe. Um, and since that time, I sold two more things. So. Um, I sold a Microsoft Xbox 360 um, Connect sensor bar with a, with a game that come with it. Um, this game, I believe, is Dance Central. Um, I bought that bar. Actually, I bought five of them um, in a bulk, bulk purchase. I bought five for, I think, I want to say $25. I try not to spend more than $25, $30. But I think I bought all five for $25. I'm already sold four of them. This is my very last one. So already in profit on that. And these games I bought for a dollar. Um, I figured if I 
if I lotted the games with the bars, I would sell them quicker and better, you know? And that's what happened, it worked pretty good. So um, this is my last one. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, but I think after everything sold, I think I, I made about 80 something dollars off those five. So pretty good, um, pretty good on that. And the next thing I sold tonight, um, it's a holiday tradition tie. I know Christmas is coming up, the holidays are coming up, and so um, I, I went looking for Christmas items, Christmas clothing, ties, hats, shirts, whatever, and I found this tie. Um, I sold it for $14.95 on free shipping. It's not going to cost me much anything to ship. It's less than, three, uh, less than four ounces, so it won't cost me a lot at all. So. I love selling ties. They're easy to ship, they're easy to find, and really cheap to buy. So, um, hold it. Bro. Let's go over something else I sold too. Let's see. Is that GoPro? Yeah. Um. All orders. I'm on my eBay app right now. Um. I went over the the, the practice net. I went over the bowling shoes. I also sold a Ralph Lauren. A Ralph Lauren long sleeve shirt for $17.95 plus shipping. Um, it cost me um, $5 a ship. I bought it for $2 good book. I um, also sold Atlanta Falcon scrub top, just the top part. Um, I live in Alabama. We don't have an NFL team in Alabama. We're all mostly college, you know, but we do have an NFL team in Georgia and we do follow the Atlanta Falcons. So um, this. This was sold in Georgia, so not surprising for me. But that sold for $14.95 and um, uh, free shipping. So again, it cost me like $4 to ship. So I bought it for $2 at a thrift store. Happy about that. Another uh, sale, I bought. I sold another DVD. It's called The Pilgrim's Progress. Um, I sold the, a Blu-ray um, about three weeks ago. Um, that's another bulk purchase I made where I, I bought like, I think it was seven, I want to say seven Blu-ray and the rest of them were DVD. I'm not sure exactly. I think it was 18 total is what I bought. And I think I paid a total of like $23 for all of them. And I've already sold one Blu-ray and I've already sold, this is the first DVD so I sold the Blu-ray for 14 so 9 plus 14, yeah, not math. but um. I'm almost, I'm almost, actually, yeah, I'm right at where I bought all of them, so from here on out, whenever I sell one, I'll be in the profit, so apparently it's a popular, popular movie, so happy about that. Um, the last thing I want to go over, um, this is a rare, this is a rare item. I had no idea these were worth anything. I bought, uh, two, they're called Ampex 90 minute blank audio cassette tapes. Apparently they're vintage. They're cassette tapes that were used, you know, years ago. I'm not sure exactly that time frame. Um, but I found these for a dollar a piece at an antique place. They were new in the wrapper. And anytime I see anything new in a wrapper, I pick it up and I'll look it up and see what the worth of it. I did that and these were going, I think they're going for about $9 a piece. So, I picked them both up and I lot them, lotted both of them together and they both sold for they sold together for $17.95 and I did free shipping on that as well so so yeah I learned something with that um, now I know what to look for for uh, uh, MPEX audio cassette tapes who knew you know I sold those Hoka 1-1 Conquest shoes I sold them for $44.95 um, and the buyer actually paid um, I'm gonna say like twelve dollars to ship. So all in all, sixty-five dollars and twenty-four cents was the total price for that for those pair of shoes. So 
Um, like I said, I, I bought eight pair in one day. I've already sold, I think, four of those pairs. So I'm already a profit on those shoes. So I'm very excited about selling shoes. Very happy about selling that. So, um, but yeah, this is a little different video. Um, but I don't have time to go back up to my eBay room right now. But uh, yeah, if you uh, want to hear about more things, or if you want to, you know, if you're interested interested in being a reseller and want to know kind of what to look for, you know, you know, subscribe and um, I'll be glad to share that information for you. Um, I found some crazy things, things I never thought would be worth anything to resell, and but they do. Um, and uh, it's fun to do. And if it's something you're ever interested in doing, please ask questions. I'll be, I'll, you know, I'll be happy to, to help you. So um, please like this video, subscribe, and uh, and wait for more because I have more, a lot more information to share. So again, thanks for watching. And have a good week.